Well, we're out here today. Um, I want to say it's June 1st, isn't it? It is June 1st, and we're just now getting some spring plots in. Uh, we're kind of kind of a little bit behind. There's been a lot of rain that this area has been getting, and uh, the plots that we have, this is really the only one that we have that's up on a hill. All the others are kind of down on the bottom in the low area, so we haven't been able to get to them at all. We sprayed three plots, well, actually four, Spray, spread four plots um, and killed all the grass and, and all the weeds that you can see here that are dead now probably three weeks ago and uh, we're just now able to we got a really good kill but we're just now able to get on them and we're going to be putting in some spring and summer mix from Hancock Seed Company um, and hopefully it still looks like it's a little damp but hopefully the uh, little groundhog max will do alright and get these worked up but it's amazing what this little disc will do so all I'm basically going to do is just rough the, the top up. Um, I'm not really going to worry about getting too deep at all. This, this plot's been worked up quite a bit in the past, so it should work up fairly easy as long as it's not too wet and it starts clogging up my disc. So. And then after that, uh, my dad, he's, he's on the mower right now, and he'll be, uh, he'll be mowing some clover that we have. We have about two acres of clover that need to be need to be mowed as soon as we can so we uh, borrowed our cousin's mower and I'm gonna put it to work today so anyway we'll get after it and hopefully hopefully these work up all right <laughs> Well, just got him. Um, this one should be ready to plant. It was a little little sticky. We had to unclog the disc a couple times, but it wasn't too bad. Um, the only thing that we might be running into is all this next week, actually starting uh, today's Saturday, so tomorrow, starting tomorrow night, Sunday night, we've got rain forecasted for seven days. I mean unreal so I don't know we we may end up just going ahead and planting everything and if some of it gets drowned out it, it gets drowned out and we'll just uh, plant in late summer and plant some fall mixes but uh, for now this will be a, a spring and summer mix from Hancock seed and then we have two others to do that we've got to do the same thing too so we'll go to the next one and then uh, later on this evening start throwing some seed out and some fertilizer and lime and all that good stuff. All right, so we're here on, this is a plot we call Cloud Nine. Um, my mom actually killed a pretty good deer we called Cloud Nine up here, and that's where it got its name. But uh, this is solid, this is the uh, killer clover mix from Hancock Seed Company. But you can tell, just because of the really wet spring we've had um, a lot there's a lot of lespedeza in this area and a lot of it started beating out over it so we've just got to knock it down pretty low um, and I think honestly it looks like we're doing it at the perfect time because a lot of this stuff is already finished heading out you can see where there's still some flowers up and there's a lot of seed still in the seed heads right now so basically what he's doing is he's just knocking the seeds and dispersing the seeds everywhere um, but it should bounce right back. Um, we actually tell some of the Lespedes has turned a little bit of a yellow. There's a lot of grass in here that's dead. And that was because three weeks ago we sprayed Clethodim in here. And uh, Clethodim won't necessarily kill Lespedes, but it'll definitely kill all your grasses. So we cleaned it up that way. Now we're just coming back and kind of maintenance in it now. So 
Anyway, he's got this one to do, and then he's got a really big one to do on, on further down the valley here. So, in the meantime, we're just gonna keep working on disking up a couple more plots. So, we'll get after those. So, another reason why we're using the, the lawnmower um, right now, it's so wet in some of these areas, uh, we just rip ruts everywhere with the tractor. So. Uh, with the tractor we have anyway so that's kind of why we're borrowing our cousin's our cousin's mower but it's doing a pretty phenomenal job really um, I, I wish it would go a little bit higher ideally in times and years past really what i like to do is just knock that first leaf off of the clover and just barely buzz it so you know eight to ten inches tall and this is getting about six um, but I think we have a good enough stand and a healthy enough stand. We have a ton of rain in the forecast, so I don't see, honestly, how it's going to hurt this clover in any way. But anyway, we'll let him finish up and keep this enough some plots. got one one plot spread uh, we've got this one and then one more after this and then we should be good and funny thing is, is a while ago earlier today we were talking about the rain and we just had a thunderstorm build just south of us here and I think it's gonna barely miss us but it we didn't have any rain forecasted for today and I'll just kind of go to show how this so far this growing season for all the farmers for everybody trying to get food plots out it's just been been a nightmare this year but uh hopefully this rain you know kind of goes over into the, the summer and we don't just dry up like we normally do every year but that's in a perfect world so we'll see what happens but got a uh, oh, i'm spreading about 25 pounds or so um per half acre so i'm basically double seed what the recommended is um this is roughly a half acre maybe a little over and We'll get this one done and then one more that's probably about the same size as this and should have all the all the summer plots in so we'll get after it. <laughs> 